Welcome to Family Gamer TV. We've just been looking at Skylander Superchargers, but not more of the campaign, not more of the, the Wii version as we maybe thought, but some online multiplayer of the next gen consoles. And it, I was really surprised. So this isn't what I was expecting you to roll out at Gamescom. Ha, ah, our plan worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me. So of course I'm with Guha Bala, um, one of the studio heads at Vicarious Visions, mm -hmm. and you've kept this under wraps. Uh, that's right. So these days it seems like, especially with your uh, private eye investigation, <laughs> uh, hard to keep anything under wraps. But uh, uh, as you might expect, at least uh, as I uh, always aspired to do when we looked at uh, vehicles, this is a perfect opportunity to bring online into Skylanders as well. And so at Gamescom we're not showing, but we announced that online is not only for the vehicle adventure or a vehicle experience in multiplayer racing, but also through the adventure experience. So we have online co-op adventures between friends that will also have voice chat between friends. Uh, and then competitive MP racing. So competitive MP racing can be played single player. It can play, be played couch co-op in a split screen environment and also in an online multiplayer setting with friends, with voice chat, up to four human players, and also anonymously paired in the internet uh, with strangers, but with strangers it would be without voice chat. There's a lot There's a lot in there. So first of all, online in the main campaign is a really big deal. Was that hard to achieve? Uh, you know, online involved rewriting the entire engine and all its systems. You know, making a game online is not simply a matter of doing the network code. It's about making every part of what we do aware of an online environment, and aware of different systems around the world that may be synchronizing with each other. So uh, that was a lot of work, but it's important work. Uh, and it's important to do it right the first time, which really means doing it as simply as possible where it will just work. So uh, I know that Skylanders fans have enjoyed co-op from the very beginning. Over half of our fans play co-op the first day that they get Skylanders. Uh, and so we wanted to make so the make it so the co-op adventure online plays just as easily, just as seamlessly with minimal, minimal setup uh, and instructions. And it will just work. You know, likewise, uh, we do that with MP Racing. You know, with a racing uh, By MP multiplayer, is that right? That's right, <laughs> multiplayer racing, sorry. And with that, there are many features in multiplayer racing, but within a few seconds, you can just get in there, race, and have a good time. Which is what we've been doing, and it is very quick and seamless, really quick, easy lobby system. Mm -hmm. Get your Skylanders on the portal, uh -huh. and away you go. That's right, you know, so the way that uh, kids have been used to being able to play Skylanders was pick, a, pick their favorite driver, in this case, pick the favorite supercharger, pick their favorite vehicle, pair them together, get going. And we've got a couple of new driver pairings here. So um, Terrafin and Shark Tank, get that right? That's correct. So, you know, here we have a supercharger version of Terrafin. He's called Shark Shooter Terrafin. And now with all of our returning favorites like Terrafin, the supercharger version is a all new imagination of Terrafin. So we have the engine base that designates that. Uh, compared to the prior Terrafin, he's bigger, he's beefier. Uh, and he has a whole new upgrade tree. Now he pairs with Shark Tank. Now Shark Tank, as you can imagine, is a tank, uh, heavily armored, but at the same time is super quick, super fast, uh, highly maneuverable vehicle. And does some surprising things. It launches sharks. Long nice, range, nice. high power. Long range, high power, a little slower on its reload. So nicely balanced with shorter range, but higher frequency attack vehicles. Now the secondary ability on this is to dive underneath, underneath the ground, just like Terrafin would. And that really helps in terms of avoiding attacks. Uh, so a lot of times when you're in the lead, uh, your opponents are gonna attack you to take out your health and gain position. Now when you go underground, you can avoid those attacks. And the vehicle itself has little wheels underneath, That's so right. it works the toy as well. Yeah, one of the really important things with every one of these vehicles is one to continue our tradition of super high detail, really great build quality, but these are made to be played with. So there are no bases on the new vehicle toys. Uh, they're supposed to be as much fun in the living room as they are in the game. Two dark vehicles, actually. This one looks very sleek and aerodynamic, but it, in fact is a sea vehicle. This one is uh, shaped like a, and inspired by a manta ray, and it's called Sea Shadow. Sea Shadow is a dark element vehicle and pairs with Nightfall. Nightfall is a, another one of our girl characters. Again, super cool, super tough. Uh, and uh, her abilities are all themed around her hair and her hooks. Very nice. And just very finely, you can upgrade, expand the racing experience by those packs, which include the trophies. And those trophies, as I understand it, relate to bosses. That's right. So in addition to the racetracks that are available for Lancy and Sky right out of the starter pack, 
Uh, we have action packs this year. So in the past, we've had adventure packs to open up new content. These are action packs have a supercharger vehicle, su a paired supercharger Skylander, and a boss trophy. And each one of these, uh, there will be three of them, Lancey and Sky, unlocks new oh, Lancey yeah. and Sky so respectively easy, tracks, but also new modes of play like boss challenges. You can get in there, use the boss trophy to play a boss challenge, and every time you beat a boss, every level is themed again, uh, themed with a boss, like Chompy Mage for Chompy Garden that you saw today. Um, you can actually capture that boss, play as that boss, and also drive in that boss's vehicle. Really super fun. And we really look at it from a perspective of, well, if I were a kid, where would I want to go with this? If I were a kid if I, uh, and I had vehicles, I'd start with land vehicles, I'd start with cars and motorbikes, but I wouldn't stop there. And so we just kind of make it almost um, a set of features where at every point it's like, well, where else might my imagination go and try to do a great job with all of that. Well, great. I'm looking forward to getting more hands-on with the game, but thanks for your time today. You're very welcome. My pleasure.